Now let's return to that story we mentioned in the headline. Millions of barrels of fuel that is made from Russian oil is still being imported to the UK. That's despite sanctions imposed over the war in Ukraine, according to new research. A so-called loophole means that Russian crude is refined in countries like India that are not sanctioned in Russia, and then those products are sold to the UK. Now it's not illegal and it doesn't breach the UK's Russian oil ban, but critics say it undermines sanctions aimed at restricting Russia's war funds. So let's talk now to Mai Rosner, who uh, leads the Ukraine project at the charity Global Witness, which is behind some of this research. Thank you for being with us. And we said they're not illegal, but this really does fly in the face of those sanctions and the spirit of those sanctions. And that's the issue, isn't it? Yes, thanks for having me. And absolutely, what the refining loophole does is it means that countries like India and China and Turkey are importing millions and millions of barrels of Russian oil, which they then process into fuel products like diesel, like jet fuel and gasoline. And those products are then sold onto the West to countries that embargo the direct import of Russian oil. So this means that Western countries like the UK are still linked to supply chains that are fueling um, you know, Kremlin revenues through these oil purchases and that UK flights and, and cars are still running on, on products that are derived from Russian oil. And how much fun, or how much money is that putting into the war chest for Moscow, um, given that there is a reliance, as we said, and some countries still continue to trade with Russia when it comes to oil? That is funding the war effort, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. Uh, the Kremlin is spending historic amounts of its budget on waging war in Ukraine. And our research at Global Witness shows that UK imports of jet fuel and diesel through the refining loophole in 2023 alone uh, was worth at least £100 million to the Kremlin in direct tax revenues. That's not the value of the oil itself. That is just the tax that the Kremlin ex uh, extracts on, um, on oil exports. That it was equivalent to 5.2 million barrels uh, in 2023 that the UK imported. And it underlines, doesn't it, how complicated global supply chains are and how uh, lacking in transparency, I guess, in some respects, it's very difficult to work out and to follow the real route of where this stuff has come from and where it ends up. Absolutely, but there is actually an easy solution to this problem, to close the refining loophole and to strengthen our oil sanctions. And the US is already ahead on this. Um, the UK can ban the import of refined products that come from refineries that are importing Russian crude. We at Global Witness have been able to trace these refineries, uh, and there's only a handful of them uh, in India and Turkey, as I mentioned, that are importing these huge volumes of Russian oil. And over in the United States, uh, over 60 representatives in, in Congress have introduced a bill uh, that would ban imports to the United States of refined products that are derived from Russian oil. And the UK should follow suit. The UK government can close this loophole to strengthen sanctions and to make sure that the intention of the original embargo is upheld and that we're not unintentionally sending money to the Kremlin that is that is funding this war on Ukraine. And clearly this oil is needed. That, those refined products are being used, uh, particularly in things like aviation. Um, so if that source were to be switched off, are there alternatives? There are alternatives, but importantly, what, would it, what this would do is disincentivize refineries that previously to this war didn't import almost any Russian oil from, um, from importing Russian oil so that they can make the decision whether they want to do business with the West or whether they want to do business with Russia. And furthermore, we've seen that when the eligible pool of buyers for Russian oil is limited, it actually puts downward pressure on the price of Russian oil, um, which would mean cheaper uh, Russian oil and also less profit for the Kremlin. Mike, really good to have you with us. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for explaining that. That's my Rosner there uh, with the details on how Russian oil is still continuing uh, to travel right around the world. Thank you.